Beard Muddy here. Uh, it's just going to be a wiring video. Do a cold start on it if uh, my batteries are charged enough. We'll see what happens. Here's the wires. I'll start at the batteries. Yeah, both batteries. I got my tender hooked up onto it right now because I'm trying to see if these batteries are any good or if I gotta get new ones. But I got my tie down done on that one, that one, all the wires. Run to the run to the winch in the front. Comes this way. There's the little wireless box. Then it runs this way. And comes out. Right here is the um, the winch wires. Here's your charging, kill, all that stuff. Comes all up. Comes up into here. Made it all, all ran to the key. The key now turns the tractor on, turns it off, gets the charging. It does everything besides the lights. The lights, I have a toggle switch on that side. I'm gonna get a picture here. Hey, the toggle switch for the headlights. Now I installed this other toggle switch here, which I'll show you how that works. This toggle switch is so if I leave the key in it and this is off, no one can steal it. No kids can't start it, nothing, no one can get hurt. So I added that in. I just ran that directly to, let's see, D -D -D -D, one of the wires, this wire, right here, your main power wire coming from your solenoid. This switch is ran in line with that, and I got a fuse, it's underneath all that stuff. That's the fuse for the, for the lights. There's another fuse under there for the, um, the start wire. Alright, let me... Throw that back on real quick. Like so. Like so. Okay. Now, headlights. Headlights work. You got them in the factory spots. These are just two, uh, they used to be strobe lights, but there was a little box that went with them. We just took it off the box and now they're just permanent lights. Uh, I think there's six LEDs, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's, it's just a straight little LED bar. There's two of them, one on that side, one on that side. So I had to do some modifying to the factory plastic on the inside of here to get them to fit. See if you can see it. I get that pump rod down. Here's the back side of them. I want to do something different. I'm going to get some different bolts. Those are them things that you uh, use when you don't have a stud in your wall. You use them to hang stuff. I hope it's right to the sheetrock and stuff. But anyway, it comes down. It comes down to here to a quick disconnect. So I can still take my hood off if needed be on the trail or something. Then that runs, I can set up to that toggle switch. Um, I am going to be running tail lights. Uh, I'm just going to run them off of this switch right here, which is could be any type of engaged type switch for a mower. It's just got two poles on it. This one happens to have three wires, but it's just got two two prongs, see, oh, oh, over here a little bit more, there we go, two prongs, come on, focus, a little further, focus, oh well, alright, anyway, two prongs, come off of that, I'm just going to have to put a little rod, something like this, so when I push the clutch all the way in, it'll push this in, and it will turn my tail lights on. Tail lights are an old set of lights out of a truck, trailer, whatever kind you want to. These ones came out of my truck. They're, so they're a tail light, running light, and a blinker. And I just 
hot glued and super glued and all kinds of different kinds of glue. I think Gorilla Glue is that yellower stuff and hot glue. But I uh, just glued it all in there. Got the wiring for that. We'll run that up. Like I said, that will, when I hit the clutch all the way in, it'll, the light will turn on. When I turn my headlight switch on, right there, turn that on, the running light will come on. I plan on doing some night rides. Uh, and just because I had them, why not, right? Alright, well, here's, now we're back to that little switch right there. Now when it's in that position, up, facing up towards the dash, turn the key, no power, no power at all. And then you flip it down, put it in the down position, now you got power. Okay. So that's how that works. That's like I said, pretty simple. You just flip that off. At the end of the day, you can leave it in there. Your kids can't start it. Freaking nothing. You know, no one can get hurt. Nothing like that. No one can steal it. Anything. But let's see if we can't get a cold start. Turn the gas on. Come on. All right. Gas is on. Do a couple little pulls on the throttle. I need to get that hooked up again, but. see if I can do this. I don't know if this will start without the choke on because I gotta I still gotta hook something up for that. There's my choke right there. Just gotta run a cable to here and then run something back. Probably just gonna stick it like right in here. Just in the factory um, throttle adjustment. And anyway, he said total cold start. Everything's freezing cold. It hasn't been started in a week or so anyway. Like I said, I've been down here in my little shop garage, so it's, it's indoors, so that's a plus. And all the crap. Oh yeah, that's right, alternator. I'm putting an alternator on. I'll do a video on that. I haven't quite decided where or how and what wires go to where, but I will do that. That will be another video. So that's going to go on. I'm thinking somewhere in this general area right here. But... Like you said, I ain't quite decided that yet. Let me see what happens. Oh, she died. There we go. Use an adjustment. It's cold. But the... The, um... The carburetor is still adjusted for the 18.5 I had it on prior. It's the Makuni style, if you guys don't remember that. Four wheel carburetor. For now, I got the 14.5. It's a little too rich. So I need to. I need to redo that. That's, that's just simple. That's a little. Um, what do you want to call it there? Adjustment. There we go. A little adjustment on the carb. Nothing major. But. Alright. Like you said, that was. The cold start, it's still cold and I can't really hold the throttle and the choke and all that stuff and start it and hold my phone all at the same time. So, till the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, bid mutter out.